<laughs> Good morning and welcome to Story Time. Thank you so much for joining in. And yes, today we are reading what John Marco saw. And this one is written by Annie Barrows and illustrated by Nancy Lemon. Yes. Good morning to you and welcome to Story Time. Thank you so much for joining in, and I hope you're excited for this wonderful story that we have for you today. Yes, I am super excited and ready, and just gonna wait a few minutes so everybody can come in. Get relaxed, get settled, and enjoy this journey that we have together today. Thank you so much for joining Story Time. And remember, you can find Story Time 10:30 Pacific Time live on Facebook right here, and of course, you can find us on Instagram as well as our YouTube channel. So do check out all those platforms. But welcome to Story Time, and please, as always, let us know who is with you, where you're joining in from, and indeed how you are liking Story Time. Thank you so much for joining in. And yes, this one we are reading with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Good morning to you and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining in. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Rocco, Clay, and Chriselle, good morning to you. Welcome, joining in from Long Beach, California. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining in. Good to see you. And Rocco, all the best for second grade when you do get started in a few days. Thank you so much for joining in. All right, Sheba Chanda, joining us all the way out in Zambia. And Benjamin, how are you doing today? Good morning morning to you. I hope you're ready to see what John Marco saw. Thank you so much for joining in. Anna Lima, all the way out in Chicago. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope everything is well with you. Thank you so much. Kalen, hello to you. How are you doing? You say we love story time. Oh, that is good. Thank you so much. I love story time. I love being here with you. Thank you so much for joining in, Kalen. Yes, and to you, Cosby, as well. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And I think you're joining us from Delaware, Ohio, was it? Thank you so much for joining in. I hope I got that right. <laughs> Alice Neal, how are you doing? Good morning to you, Olivia. And good morning to you, Max. How are you? doing today thank you so much for joining in <laughs> good morning good morning and welcome to story time thank you so much for joining in please do let us know where you are and where you are joining in from yes story time is here good morning good morning good morning thank you so much to everybody that let us know where you are and who indeed is in with you thank you thank you thank you good morning to you <laughs> all right and yes, happy Wednesday to you. I hope your school is going well if you're back in school. And if you're getting ready, I hope the preparations are going well too. Thank you so much for joining in today. Good morning to you one more time. Rocco, Chriselle, and Clay. And of course, Lucy and Wally missed you yesterday. For some reason, my comments could not load. So I didn't see all, um, all your messages. But yes, I got to see them after afterwards. But good morning to you. Glad you're here. Lucy and Wally, thank you so much for joining us all the way out in Los Angeles. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining in. <laughs> I am glad you are here. Thank you. Thank you. And to you, Anne, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, good morning to you, Archie, as well. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you, Lydia Yamaguchi. How are you doing today? And you say, can we say good morning to Jeremy? Is this Jeremy in Sacramento? Good morning to you. How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> All right. Well, we will be getting started shortly. And today we're reading what John Marco saw. And this one is written by Annie Barrows and illustrated by Nancy Lemon. So I hope you're excited for that one because I am. Good morning to you, Harmony Beth, right here in the Bay Area. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining in. Glad you are here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we'll be starting in a minute. But yes, I hope you're ready for this amazing adventure with this tiny giant today. And let's see what Marco is up to. All right. <laughs> All right. Let us get started. All right. So this one is What John Marco Saw, written by Annie Barrows and illustrated by Nancy Lemon. Let's find out. 
what that one is about. And of course, we're reading this book with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. A big, big thank you to Chronicle Books. John Marco had two brothers and two sisters. They were all bigger than he was. They were all louder than he was. They all talked a lot. When John Marco had something to say like, Today I saw this big green grasshopper in the yard. Its eyes were all black and bulgy. And it was eating a piece of grass and I could hear it chew like Did anybody listen? Nobody listened. John Marco decided to try his neighbor, Mr. Geordie. Mr. Geordie liked to sit on his porch and read his newspaper. Also, he liked to whistle like this. John Marco said, I dug a hole in the mud. Will Mr. Geordie listen? And I found a bunch of worms and also a rock that had a white line in it. And I think it's a fossil. You want to see? He asked. Mr. Geordie did not want to see. John Marco decided to try his mom. Maybe she might listen. What do you think, kids? His mom was very busy. She was doing four things at once. John Marco said, a big old orange cat came into the yard. And her stomach was almost dragging on the ground. She was so fat. What did mom do? Did she say anything? She lay down in the grass and I thought she might like some water. So I put some in a bowl and set it down. And she looked at it, but she didn't drink. And she let me sit right next to her. And she closed her eyes and went, <laughs> Trying out my cat sound there. <laughs> John Marco went outside. John Marco went outside. He sat on the front step. After a while, he got up. He stood on the grass and looked at the tree in the middle of the yard. He looked hard at the tree. It was falling down. It was falling down very slowly, but it was definitely falling down. What was John Marco to do? John Marco said, the tree in the front yard is falling down. Nobody listened. John Marco said, a little louder this time, the tree in the front yard is falling down. Will they listen this time? His brothers and sisters came outside. The tree in the front yard is falling down, explained John Marco. Mr. Geordie looked through the leaves. What tree, he asked. And you can see the poor owl fell from the tree. The tree in the front yard is falling down, yelled John Marco. And this time very loudly. Did they listen? And you can see all oh, the birdhouse, everything was coming down. John Marco's mom came outside. Trees don't just fall down, she said. This one does, said John Marco. 
<laughs> and there he came down. <sighs> Crash! Boom! Everything went down with it. <laughs> if only they had listened to John Marco. <laughs> The fat old orange cat rode over. You people should pay more attention, she said. Like John Marco does. <laughs> hey, look, said John Marco. What do you think happened this time? And you can see he sees this beautiful blue feather right there. From that beautiful bird. <laughs> and of course you can see them here paying attention to what John Marco was saying. Thank you so much everybody for joining in. I hope you enjoyed that one. Yes, let's pay attention. Let's pay attention to everybody that is with us. I know sometimes it may be hard, but yes, let's just slow down at times and focus look look and listen to the people around us thank you so much for joining in yes that was what john marco saw <laughs> thank you so much to you and barrows for that book and nancy lemon the illustrator and of course chronicle books for sharing it with us but just a thought as i should share with you from annie barrows here it says um a story that speaks directly to young readers as it reminds us all that sometimes the smallest people have the biggest things to say. Yes, let's give ears to everybody and listen. Thank you so much for joining in for that one. That is indeed what John Marco saw. Thank you. Thank you for joining in and for joining in story time today. Thank you. Absolutely love it. Let's see who else was with us today. <laughs> Good morning to you, Lucy and Wally, one more time. Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, to you, Lydia Yamaguchi. Thank Thank you, Jeremy, one more time. Harmony Beth, thanks to you for joining us. Danny Rodriguez joining us today. Thank you so much. Good morning to you. Terim Sonda, how are you doing? My brother, good to see you. And of course, Oscar Monagulanga, all the way out in Zambia. How are you doing? Thank you for joining in Storytime. I hope you enjoyed that one today. What John Marco saw. Brilliant book indeed. But remember that Storytime is back tomorrow with yet another exciting story. And tomorrow we will be reading Love is do join in for that one more animals on the way to share our days with us thank you thank you for joining in and for always letting us know who is in with you where you're joining in from and indeed who is joining in with you thank you so much and where you're joining us from good morning to you and of course as always it is much love from me and we'll be back tomorrow with more story time and sharing and we will be back thank you so much to you laura bennett thank you so much for joining in cannot wait to try out the drums once this is all over but thank you thank you thank you and to everybody that joined in please do give a hug and of course as we've been taught today do give an ear to everybody that is with you not just the adults but the kids as well they have something to say they have something important to share with you thank you so much for joining in Jen Vetta, thank you so much for joining in. Appreciate you and see you soon. Thank you so much. This has been story time for today. Please remember you can find us right here on Facebook, 10.30 Pacific Time Live, or you can find recordings after. You can also find us on our YouTube channel, but as you can also find us on Instagram. Thank you so much to everybody. Have yourselves a beautiful day. From me, it is much love as always, and I will see you tomorrow when we come back for love is. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>